do you want to know? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Mom J. To all my returning subscribers, I want to say thank you very much. And if this is your first time of dropping by, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Now, for today's episode of our relationship talk, we'll have a very important topic, which is is communication the key to a healthy relationship? It is said that communication is the key to a healthy relationship. However, most people aren't certain what they should be communicating about. In this video, we will go through some key points which should be considered when communicating in a relationship. Please, Come with me and enjoy the video. All relationships have ups and downs, but a healthy communication style can make it easier to deal with conflict and build a stronger and healthier partnership. In a relationship, there should be communication without limit. You should talk with your partner about everything. You can talk about your daily activities, when you woke up, what you ate for lunch, what you discussed with your co-worker, everything. Endeavor to have no limits while communicating with your partner because what you might neglect might be very important to your partner. Also, you can talk about your budget, your saving habits, your spendings, set some financial goals and discuss strategies to help you reach those goals. Thirdly, you can also communicate your individual goals with your partner. For instance, how to lose weight or your plan to lose weight or learn how to cook a new Thai dish. All of this could be an interesting topic of discussion or communication in your relationship. And your partner could also be of help or could also assist you in achieving these goals. The fourth point is, you may talk about the places you want to explore. Though that may be far-fetched, depending on your budget, but that leaves it open for your partner to throw you a surprise on your birthday, on your anniversary, or any special day. Another point is your emotional growth. Now, I know most people wouldn't want to talk about this for fear of hurting the other person. But it's important to analyze your love life. How has it been? Sweet, bitter, or sour? And what can you do to rekindle your love life? Last but not the least, arguments. Arguments are also a form of communication in a relationship, depending on how you handle it. Because we argue to express our opinions and we learn in the process. So while communicating, take note of the following points. Be open and honest. Always talk about important or sensitive issues face to face. Find the right time for important conversations. Don't be abusive or verbally aggressive, even if it's an emotive issue. Use positive body language. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you and see you in the next video. Do you want to know?